Hi, and thank you for watching us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and consider other important aspects of working for yourself, being self-employed, running a small business. So today I've been asked to talk a little bit about mileage, um, how this works, what else um, should be um, considered and um, how to go about claiming mileage and at what rate. So before I talk about this, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you should need to, as well as being able to find other information on a whole host of different um, topics, all aimed at supporting you in your self-employment. So back then to mileage. Um, so mileage is a way of um, reimbursing yourself as an individual for, um, for any business use of your personal car. So here we're not talking about the, um, the car that's owned by the business or the company if you're trading as a, as a limited company, um, but we're talking about your own personal car um, that is um, that you are using for business use. So um, the first thing to establish is that business use means anything connected um, with the use of the um, the use for the business. So we're not just talking about um, specifically going to see um, or delivering to customers or clients um, or things that will in effect earn you revenue for your business. We're also talking about the administrative um, side. So, for example, if you go to a supplier um, to get some um, supplies, if you go to the stationers to get some stationery, um, if you go to the post office um, to send some um, letters and you're doing these things specifically for the um, for the benefit of your business, then that is business use and what you should be looking to claim your um, mileage for. So um, the next part of the question that we were asked um, relates to what else um, should you be claiming for your vehicle if, um, if you claim mileage? And the answer is um, that the mileage um, claim, the, the, the rate that you are allowed by HMRC to claim for mileage um, seeks to recompense you for all aspects of the um, of the use of the of the vehicle. So we're talking about the fuel, the insurance, the um, wear and tear, the sort of servicing. Um, so everything that um, that 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 you pay for your car um, yourself, because it's your personal car, if you remember, then the mileage that you're reclaiming is to is to recompense you for all of that. So you claim your mileage and you don't claim anything else for the um, for the use. And this is why we've explored in other videos, um, if you have the option of um, using mileage or actual costs, um, it's important that you understand and choose what's right for your individual business. So back then to mileage, um, so let's um, have a look then at what you can claim. So HMRC give um, give their levels of um, mileage that are acceptable for tax purposes. So that that is so we um, we're sort of looking um, generally is forty five pence uh, a mile for that's for the use of your personal um, vehicle. Um, now that um, that is up to the first 10,000 miles and over that it drops down to 25 pence a mile. Now that is to say that that is what HMRC allow that now that doesn't mean that that is the maximum that you can pay. Um, but that means that for it. So as um, it, 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 as a, um, a sole trader. For example, if you're claiming um, business use of your of your um, uh, mileage for business use of your personal vehicle, and um, say for example, if your business pays you out at um, fifty pence a mile, that's fine for your business to do that. Um, um, but it means that the extra five pence it becomes a taxable benefit. 
or um, a dis the additional becomes a disallowable expense, again, depending on the um, situation that we're looking at, whether we're looking at, um, obviously, we may have a sole trader, um, um, we may have a, a limited company, or we may even have an employee claiming from their um, employer. So 45 is um, 45 pence per mile is the, up to the first 10,000 is the maximum that's allowable for taxable um, purposes. Um, but you can pay more than that um, if you if you uh, wanted to. But obviously, in the scenario that you're a sole trader, there would be no there would be no advantage to you having um, any any extra because you're effectively you and the business are your same. So you would be paying yourself, and so and you would be reducing the business's um, business expense. So, so therefore, that is um, there's there's no benefit to paying any extra. Um, and if you're a, an employer paying your employee, again, you can pay more than the um, the than the allowable amounts. But anything above that then becomes a a taxable benefit for your employee. So they would be taxed on anything above. So if, again, if you paid them fifty pence a mile, that extra five pence would need to be um, recorded um, and uh, notified to HMRC as a benefit in kind. So, um, so it, it's just generally, it's um, it's more straightforward to stick to the maximum, um, the maximum allowed by HMRC. So 45 pence for the first um, 10,000 miles and then 25 um, pence um, thereafter. Um, so, so hopefully that this um, helps. So just to recap, so the mileage allowance would be um, for, for reimbursing you for personal, I'm sorry, for business use of your personal vehicle. There are um, established rates that are, that are, are, are available from um, HMRC. And if you pay more than those, the, the excess is disallowable for tax purpose or becomes a benefit in kind to the employee, depending on the um, on the trading style. And if you claim mileage, that covers all aspects of the of the vehicle. So you wouldn't claim anything as well. And for the first 10,000 miles, um, it's 45 pence and over that is um, 25 pence pence per mile um just to say that is for um cars and vans and motorcycles and bicycles have a different rate and also to add if you are an employee for example and taking colleagues you are allowed an additional five pence um per mile for every person so if you if you take two um two colleagues to um to a, a work event then you're allowed to claim your 45 pence for yourself and then five pence times two, so 55 pence in total because you've taken um, two passengers. And just another, um, a completely different angle, but just remember if you are using your car, your personal car for business use, just check that you are covered um, by your insurance to do so. So hopefully this helps to answer the question and thank you as always for watching. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Goodbye.